What's up everyone? In medical school, one of my professors stated that trying to learn all the material that they teach you in medical school is like trying to drink from a fire hydrant. I'm gonna give you some tips on this video how to manage all the material that you receive. Make sure you guys subscribe. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be posting new videos, lots of new information. I have lots of big things coming up for you guys. You don't wanna miss it, so hit that subscribe button. What's up everyone? In medical school, there is a lot of information to learn in a, such a short amount of time. When I was in college, we took about 12 semester hours or 12 to 15 semester hours and that was considered to be full time. In medical school, you take about 35 to 40 semester hours, a, a credit hours a semester. Lots of material to learn in just a short amount of time. When I was in medical school at Georgetown, one of my professors stated that trying to learn in medical school is like trying to drink from a fire hydrant. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I will be able to drink from a fire hydrant. Another professor, one of my renal professors, he stopped class one day, and he was, he was the type of, type of professor that always gave us some advice, some life advice. And for this particular class, I, I believe we were learning the different types of renal disease, um, one of the things that he tried to uh, portray or say in class and tried to, um, the advice he tried to give to us was that when you learn in medical school, it's like trying to throw mud on the wall. And I don't know about you, but if you ever tried to throw mud on the wall, majority of it just falls off. You do have some that sticks, and that's the material that, that's the information and the material that kind of sticks as you go through medical school. You have an enormous amount of material, a small amount is gonna stick when you go through that material and try to study. The way to succeed and the way to do well in medical school is to keep throwing mud at that wall so that more sticks. What this means is, as you go through the material and you go through that material three times, four times, five times, and you're constantly reviewing this material, the more that you review it, the easier and the more likely that it's going to stick. So, you have so much material to learn in medical school and so little time. What I used to do is constantly go over that material. Say, for instance, we were learning about pheochromocytoma, a, um, a disease of the kidney kidneys that can lead to hypertension, um, high um, heart rates, uh, palpations and all these other symptoms and in, in order for you to learn that material or learn that disease or concept you have to, you have to review it and before the test came around I had reviewed that disease or that concept maybe eight or nine times I read it eight or nine times so things that I use to make sure that this happened I use note cards a lot of times um, I either walk to school or I rode the bus or when I was on a long trip in someone else's car, I always had note cards with me. And that's a way to constantly review that material over and over again. And even to this day in residency, I still use note cards for medications that I need to know for different uh, disease processes, the small little details that you have to get down. But the way, even in college, the way to succeed and the way to do well you have to go over this material constantly. This means that by the time that the test arrives or comes around, you need to have review that information multiple times. And the more times that you review it, the more likely it's gonna stick and the more mud is gonna stick on the wall. So when you're learning in college or if you're in medical school or even residency, you need to have a system in place so that you review the material multiple times longitudinally before the test. That way you're more likely to remember it. This is Dr. Webb. If you guys have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or contact me on my website, antoniowebmd.com. Make sure you subscribe. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I got some hot new very good material coming up for you guys. Lots of interviews with different uh, people. 
Um, so make sure you don't want to miss these videos. So make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.